Howdy, beautiful Bart here, and welcome. Alrighty, so little sample scene here. All right, let's go in here. Let's have a seat, but um, there's nothing on TV. Well, no surprise there, but uh, it's this is the um, the television from City Studios, the Town Pack, and. Hmm. Well, we need something to happen. We need that television to actually work and do something. So, you know what? I don't like you. Get out of here. You don't show me anything. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into a new folder. And because I've already got a bunch of other stuff in this project. And, you know, I'm going to end up deleting this shortly. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's create a new blueprint. And we're going to call this an actor. And this is going to be a TV underscore temp. Because it's going to be here temporarily and then I'm going to nuke it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open that up and see I've got nothing in here. I'm going to go back up here on, my, on this tab, scroll down to the Polygon Town, go to the Props folder, and scroll down until I find the television that I want. And we'll go with this one right here, Television Flat 01. Then I'm going to go back to my blueprint, Add Component static mesh and I'm gonna call this television so now we got a television alright so uh, we need something to be here I want something on the screen okay so let's compile and save and for a short term I'm gonna close it down I'm gonna go back to my my new folder here that I've got just for this and one thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into the content folder of the actual project that you have open and you're running and you're wanting to, to do that and you're going to need to create a folder called movies m-o-v-i-e-s and inside there you want to go ahead and find the video that you want and in this case I'm gonna go ahead and just grab anything that I've got here and yes I have a lot of stuff um, this drive is, is nothing but it's a one terabyte drive about half full of nothing but Umbrella Engine 4 stuff. So let's actually. I'll go ahead and sort through it. I'll grab a video really quickly. And yeah, that way you don't have to see all my, my messy files. If I click on something I don't want anybody to see, you know. Alright, so yeah. I'm just going to take the video. In this case, it's me shooting a G36. It is me, the real Fed Kid, and shooting a real G36, not some airsoft thing. Alright, so I'm going to grab this particular video right here and I'm going to copy that into my movies folder. So I'm just going to say copy here. So now I can see that it's inside there. Ignore the other one, that's the one that I currently have working and it's a copyrighted music video so I'm not going to show that one in here. So with that in there, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and right click inside the same area where you, you want your media to be and I'm going to create a file media source and I'm just going to call this g36 underscore fms for file media source call it whatever you like I'm going to open it up and then right here under file path I'm going to go to my folder where the movies folder inside of my project select it click open click save and good to go now the next thing that I want to do I've got my file media source is I want to go ahead and I need a media player so I'm going to go ahead and go to media and media player and select video, video output media texture asset click there and I'm going to call this my G36 underscore MP and it just created a media texture so I'm going to go ahead and save all just because I save often and I'm going to make a sacrificial plane just because I need somewhere to quickly convert this over. So I'm going to grab a plane from here, throw it into the map. It doesn't matter what it is, how big it is, how it's sized or scaled or whatever. It's a sacrificial lamb. And I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to grab my media texture. And I'm just going to drag that over and drop it onto there. It's going to create a material for me automatically. All right. But if we hit play it's not going to do anything it just doesn't work it's 
not what we want, but we do have what we want. We have the media, um, the material that we need. So I can go ahead and delete that. I'm done with that. So save everything. Now I can go back into my TV and I'm going to nuke these two guys. Compile and save. And now what I want to do here is I want to create a new variable. And we're going to call this media player. And I'm going to go over here to the variable type. And it's going to be media player. And then you want to get an object reference here. Hit compile. And now on your media player, you can select the appropriate media player. Compile and save. Now get a reference to your media player, drag it in here to your event begin play, or you can put this to whatever trigger system you want to use, and then from there we want to open source. And just connect that to there. And we want to select it, and there's our G36 file media source, compile and save. Now it's not done, we're going to have to add something else to it here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my television into the scene here and just going to center it up on the table and go ahead and rotate it so we can see it. We're still not done because if we hit play it's still just a blank television and we haven't told it to do anything yet. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a component of a plane and we're going to call this the screen. If we look on our viewport, here's where we need to go ahead and rotate it. We'll get it sized up and in the correct position here in just a moment. So for right now, I'm just going to drag it in front of the TV. And we need to go right here for this basic material shape. We need to select our our video mat that was the um, material that was created when we we did that earlier step and then hit that arrow and you can see we now have the video is on there so I'm gonna go ahead and get it to where it's rotated correctly for one and then I'm gonna move it in position to fit the screen I'm gonna undo snapping and I'm gonna undo scale snapping so that I can actually get it just right. I'm just going to move it just to where it pops through there but sits behind the frame and then kind of center it up the best that you can and play around with it get it to stretch just right to fill your screen and you may have to adjust it up and down or whatever as needed so just take a few moments to get it just right I want it to be perfect, right? All right, so we are good enough. That looks good to me. So we're going to go ahead and compost and save. Go back to the event graph. Now, what's going to happen now if we go in here? Well, the video is playing, but we don't have any damn sound. We need to hear something. So what we need to do is come back into our blueprint and we need to make sure we click over here to uncheck anything. Add a component and we want a media sound component. And we'll just leave that called media sound. And what we need to do now is come over here to our media player, select the correct media player, and now hit compile and save. Now, when we go in here, it's really, 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 really loud, and there's no sound attenuation. Oh, no, I didn't get it perfect on the screen. Um, yes, with my OCDs, I, it will actually bug me if I don't have it just right. Oh, I, I won't worry with that. So, yeah, it doesn't have um, any sound attenuation to it. And it's really, really loud. So what I want to do here is I want to create a 
um, sound attenuation for one and we're going to call this our G36 TV whatever you want to call it you can call it something generic and reuse it but I'm going to go into there and you have 400 for the inner radius and I'm going to put 800 for the outer radius or fall off distance just to make it kind of small compile and save that now if we come back into our media sound element here we can select our attenuation which is G36 TV and click on allow spatialization if you don't do that for some reason the attenuation just does not work so we hit play we don't hear the sound but we can get closer it's quite loud so see, take a look at it we're just at the edge of the, the sound and if we want to make it to where it continuously loops we can actually go into our uh, media player aspect here select a video that we want and then click on loop save and then close it and now we have sound attenuation uh, we can actually go into our attenuation level and we don't even need that anymore we don't need you anymore with that sound attenuation it's going to allow you to actually set that to where you know you have full control over it. you can change it from a sphere to a cube or or what have you but with that sound attenuation now active we don't have to be worried about the sound of the video playing on the screen until we actually come over here and you know want to sit down and watch it and it plays in stereo you can actually set it up to run on surround sound or whatever else too, but it, this is just set to run in stereo so this video will play when it gets to the end, it'll automatically restart. As opposed to a, a dead continuous loop, I would imagine you can come in here and you've got your file media source there as your open source. So I'm going to go back in there and to my media player, I'm going to select a video, I'm going to uncheck loop and then save it. And then I would venture to say that since you're opening the media source here, why not just go ahead and set a delay and put in a, a five second delay and yeah, what heck, we can just loop it back to this or we can tell it to open another source, play another video, whatever else. You can have it play multiple videos this way. So we go in there and there we go. Um, it'll play the video alright so what it's doing here is actually that delay is actually too short it's actually cutting off the video at five seconds so yeah, if you're trying to, to only play it for five seconds that would be one thing but I know that by my, my video it's actually 12 so I'll change that to 17 seconds so that'll be the 12 second length of the video plus an additional 5 seconds and now there we go so it'll play through the video with sound when it gets to the end it pauses at the last of it it'll delay for 5 seconds and start playing again so there you go that is a simple television used from a Cindy Studios television where we can actually add our own video in and sound with attenuation in 4.20. Um, I haven't done this in 421 yet, but I know that with the changes in the way that audio works, uh, it used to be that when you were, you were applying your, your material, then or you're setting up the same system that what I just did it, it actually when you're creating the media player had the sound component built in that is no longer the case so wherever you put this you're gonna to need to go ahead and I'm just gonna return this back to looping actually I'll just change that to 20 seconds so I'll have more of a pause in between but wherever you call this from whether you just apply it onto a source you know, or like if you just want to put it onto a wall and plaster it right there so just grab a plane and make a giant media screen that you can 
make it as big as you want you know grab that scale it up size it up do whatever you want but when you throw your material on there what's gonna happen is your video well you can see first off you're gonna have to rotate it because it doesn't always put it in there just right so with that I can make this as, as big as I want turn my snapping back on so, I mean you could make a big giant movie theater screen since I, I put it onto a plane if you put it on a cube then it would be playing on all four all 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 yeah all four sides all the sides on the cube and if you did it this way you're not going to have the the media sound because you're now going to have to refer to if I took away the television here then I would have to actually go into the level blueprints and do the same thing that I did here of on begin play or whatever you want for your trigger open media source make this first you need to make your your variable create as a media player reference select it you know compile it select which media player you want grab the reference throw it in here do an open source select the media source you want and then there you go so then you can actually do it within the map call instead of doing it on an individual item but then you have to create your attenuations and do your same thing all over again but with this system right here you can put it on a television place it wherever you want in your map and it's just gonna work so now I don't want you you go away I can grab that same Jeter 36 um, blueprint television and drop it in the map over here you can see it has its own attenuation and wherever I put it it's just gonna work and it works off of event begin play and you don't hear the sound till you actually get into it very cool right so you can actually put this in any scene anywhere you want now you can put 20 of these TVs you can if you wanted to you could actually take this television and make it bigger yeah do whatever you want with it I mean but you notice whenever I scaled it up like this the media plane didn't want to cooperate there so if I go back in here it's not gonna play correctly um, I would say if you're gonna scale it up then do it in your blueprint so one one and one so it's back to normal there so if you actually wanted to scale it up then I would say try to do it inside here in your viewport and if you want a larger screen then just go ahead and scale it up in here that way you can take your screen um, scene and scale it up to match as well this was originally a 1920 by 1080 uh, video so I can make this as big as I want and still have good resolution to it all right well I hope you guys found this useful um, the next thing I'm going to be working on is going ahead and setting up the fact that um, I want to do a YouTube video the same way and I can do the YouTube video but I'm going to go ahead and find a new way of doing the sound attenuation because it's not working in the same fashion but I will uh, do a video later on how to actually do a YouTube video oh and as a parting little thing here alright let's get out of there let's walk over here in the corner get away from sound attenuation um, I just had to do this one time before I left. <laughs> so stupid, but it's fun. It's just this and this is actually multiplayer and replicated. So if you want to see that all this stuff actually works here in replication, I can come over here to two players and a new editor window. And again, I'm just going to walk over here with the, um, the client and we'll sit in the next chair and I'm just going to scale the window and come on over here Mr. Server so I just want to scale these up so 
it does actually replicate on its own. So this is the server. Server comes over and video is paused right now, but we'll have a seat and we'll watch. The video should kick back in just there. There you go. And that's the client. And there we go. Just one of those things, you know. All right, so all working, all replicated. The chairs, the TV, the the make it rain. Um, this is just one of the kind of emote states that I'm putting in for one of my projects, where you can just, you know, if you want to be weird you, and you're in the middle of nowhere and you know people get to be bozos they just go ahead and yeah i'm gonna do something different and i'm gonna start dancing or or what have you so yeah you can do that or you can just dance so all right guys thanks for watching i hope this helped anybody and everybody if you have any questions drop on my discord and i will help you out with it the best that i can and i will be streaming again later so um check back and we'll play around with some other stuff Thanks. Well, see you.